welcome on to the the webinar i won't say it's a webinar because uh, webinars are done for largely for uh, a massive crowd whereas we are what we are running is very specific focused uh, on a few startups who want to join our ecosystem uh, so the focus is obviously specific to so you can think of it as, as a one on one address as we go forward the way we will engage uh, in the session today is uh, we will have uh, questions keep coming up so you guys can raise questions back to me uh, and i'll try to respond as of now and just to give you a background about uh, this initiative i think we started this second shift around one and a half two months back as of now uh, almost like uh, almost 25 people have registered on the platform and we are in the process of assessment and 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 validating so the calls have started uh, with with these startups as we as we talk through it and uh, the idea is that we need to get more such partners coming on board on the platform uh and uh, idea is that by end of the month uh, we will start closing on the potential partners who will be on board uh idea is very specific we are going to look at only uh, five startups so the idea is not to go very large not to go into a scalable model but very very specific to startups where we can collaborate and where we can help so again the intent is to go small rather than to go big and that structure we are looking at only very very few startups uh have we closed on startups i think one of the question which i was getting last few days no we have not closed on startups i think why i want to ensure that everybody gets a fair play in the process uh not that the first come first serve is not a bad idea but we are still look, showing that uh, ensuring that people get a time to come on board and 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 work with us uh the the stage is right now broken into multiple ways uh all those startups which we are discussing right now are first having a call with me i go and first first call with them then uh, shashank and shrikant and we will have a second round uh as of now we are not starting the second round the first round is still going on for all the startups we are still meeting and the third round is that we are uh, right now adding uh, uh, advisory council with the lead investors lead uh, uh, entrepreneurs who are coming on board that will start uh, those meetings will start more towards the maybe third week or fourth week of this month and will go for maybe couple of weeks as well so around the end of uh, uh, i would say mid of next month is when we should be able to decide the top 5 and then we'll start so please don't think of it as a as a top 5 it's basically where we think we can add value it's a two way street right it's a two way street it's not a one way street so uh, i think some of you are still joining uh, again uh, i repeat my name is samit singhani i'm part of the digital 50 and what we'll do now is we'll take this session forward uh, we'll split into two components uh, uh, something like or uh, maybe 50 10, 10 minutes we'll introduce the company itself because you may not know us important that you understand who we are and what we do because that's a critical point for you to say what work what way can we do some of you us uh, may know us well some of you may not know but important that we you know what we do right now uh, and the second component is we'll see what we we bring to the table specifically for the, this accelerator and that's what we will talk about and third component which will maybe around after 20 or 30 minutes will be about you guys uh, asking questions and we'll respond back so it's a two way street definitely not a one way street and uh, idea is to for us to sort of uh, respond back to your queries solve, resolve them and uh, i showed that you are coming on a even st structure uh, we are not again running a very large uh, ecosystem for etc we are running for only five b2b focused stuff so with this i hand it over to uh, with me i have uh, both my co-founders shashank and shrikant on board and i will urge, uh, urge uh, shrikant to start the session immediately uh, and then we'll get into uh, the second component which shashank will talk about and then we'll talk about what excelter will do for you yep thank you samir uh uh shikant i we lost you oh, really okay let me switch off the video and then restart it i think that would be better uh you can hear me now right yes, yes. okay yeah welcome everybody uh i'm shrikant and i uh, i take care of the sales and partner Uh, Shikan, I think uh, I'll have Shikan. I'll have to take it forward. I think uh, we are losing you continuously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll start, Shikan. Uh, better? Not really. We are losing. Okay. I think better. I think so. Uh, let's continue. I think I'll start. So uh, essentially, as a company, we have been in existence for almost three and a half years. Uh, March two thousand seventeen. Immediately post. uh, uh devon is when i started on my journey and the, where we are on the journey um, i think uh, what has happened is that in this 3 3 and a half years we have uh, sort of scaled up a bit as well uh, we are almost at 12 member team right now 
But what we do is important for you. So we do, first thing first, we do a lot of partnership related work. Uh, so we run something called FinTech Bazaar, uh, which is again a, a one-on-one between, between startups and uh, buyers, which is the critical element for it, right? I mean, funding is secondary. First thing is, can you meet the customer and can you sell to them? So on B2B side, we do a lot of partnership. As of now, it's difficult to qualify, quantify, but I would see, believe that in the market, uh, if there are uh, maybe overall number of deals which happen on the B2B side, I think we'll have at least some percentage out of it. Uh, maybe uh, we would have done in three years, almost like uh, maybe 60, 70 deals in various categories. So that's what we do. We do a lot of sales partnerships. So we help early stage startups to scale up. Uh, and of course, we do investment support as well. That's we. That's something which you just started a few months back. On the on the consult and and, and the structure, we also ran uh, India's largest event as well. We'll talk about those as we go forward. Uh, then second component, we come to the consulting side. Uh, on the consulting side, we work a lot on uh, helping the startups getting built. So we worked on on certain startups from ground up, uh, strategy. Uh, in execution and then partnership, everything we have done. Uh, in some places, we have almost acted like co-founder as a service. Uh, it can be a CEO as a service, CDO as a service, a CTO as a service. I think uh, uh, other than chief risk officer, we have taken all the other roles. Uh, and CRO role we are taking along with our partners on board. We have a very strong partner there. So we are doing that activity. But consulting is about, we right now run with NPCI on their FA accelerator. We, we are right now setting up a, a SME, a, a new bank for SMEs, and we have done multiple more. And the third component is knowledge, right? So the challenge is that knowledge is, uh, is something very deep and uh, we've not seen any, any sort of knowledge available on the market, open market. And we built this, uh, this modules, which are digital lending certification or digital banking and, and other things, which are two day focus sessions, which will run typically uh, for two days. Again, the idea is again, to ensure that people understand uh, what deep knowledge is all about. And then of course, that's a network which you bring on board. We right now have a network of almost say, 2000 odd uh, 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 trainees, which you have, which you have sort of accumulated in last this period. And that is also ecosystem with which we work all the time. So let's, let's move to the next slide, please. So uh, I think let's put it the accelerator, what the uh, thought process is around the accelerator, right? So the point is when you start your business, and in fact, that's a discussion which we keep having with early stage guys. And it's not, it's relevant for us as well. So we're not saying that we are above board, but that's a challenge of all early stage startups. You have a challenge on clarity of uh, roadmap, right? What roadmap you have, what kind of solution you need to do. You want to do a, a new bank. How do you build a new bank? You want to do a digital lending platform for SMEs. Okay, how do you go around building it? What are the first stage, second stage? What kind of hiring you need? There are all the other questions which we do, right? And that's something which we try to uh, model. In fact, uh, in some places, we also help in uh, identifying uh, even, even co-founders, if, if that is a stretch of engineering, we have done that as well. Uh, there's a lack of funds, uh, so therefore we have seen enough of people uh, running out of funds. As part of the accelerator, actually, we are we. I'm not saying we are bringing a lot of money, but uh, we will be investing from our side anywhere between five to eight lakhs or nine lakhs around that amount from our own side uh, to ensure that you don't think of it accelerator as a as an activity which is uh, which is we are doing it for fashion. Not really. Uh, we believe that we can add value, and we are putting our money on the table before expecting. Uh, anybody else to come on board. Of course, we are going to take some equity against it. So lack of funds is critical and we put some money and of course, as part of the process, we are onboarding a lot of uh, investors on board and that with time will show as a result, right? Uh, there's a challenge of uh, connection. So network is very poor in, in initial stage and that's true for every startup uh, as initial days, most of, the, most of it, until unless you are uh, uh, already established a company and then and restarting all over again. That's a very different game, but I'm talking about 90% of the cases, there's no network available. Network would mean uh, uh, ensuring that you have access to startups, uh, other startups access to ecosystems, uh, start, uh, start access to banks, access to players which are in the, in the, in the whole realm. So that is difficult. So with that, we, that is what we solve. And then of course, uh, this can be customer, it can be investor or anything. And then of course, uh, there's a challenge that when, when you are running on your own, there are, there's a lack of I would say good governance and control, which happens. To be honest, it happens. So we almost at times in our engagement act like a board for them saying that, okay, show it to us what you've done and we review. So in this case, we will obviously ensure that there's a framework in this period of maybe four to five months, we will review your work uh, day in and day out to ensure that you're on track. That's our profession, that's what we do. So well, what, what value proposition we bring on the table? Uh, we bring from the business model perspective, ensuring that you have a mentors on board so we are right now working with around almost 40 to 50 uh, mentors who will come on board and spend some time. So we are not looking at uh, uh, mentors who will just 
uh, want to ensure that there are photographs are there. They are somebody who is really interested in genuinely interested in in coming on board. Uh, access to investors and 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 uh, other insights. So investors will come, uh, but there are a lot of other entities who are willing to invest if we invest. But I will not promise it. What right now in, uh, promising is that we will put money in your platform. But of course, will the market do? That is something which we have to prove it to the market. I will not go ahead and and claim about it. In terms of deep net, deep networking, obviously uh, that is something which we bring on board. We'll do through do through, through, through our bazaars, do it through one-on-one -on -one events, do it through demo days. We'll do everything required to ensure that you have get get anywhere between uh, say 10 to 30 uh, potential partners you will meet. Uh, I'm very quantifying also 10 to 30. Uh, I'm not talking about five, six, six, eight. Uh, in fact, one of the event which we did, uh, the guy who came across and said that in my life, I'm, uh, in 18 months with uh, running as part of Accelerator with somebody else, they're not met as many people that as they met with us in one single day. That's what we can bring on the table. And of course, the uh, rest of the pieces on, on, on the frameworks is something which is obvious. We'll talk about it more as we go forward. Shushan. So in terms of, uh, we spoke about the bazaars. In fact, next bazaar is coming on on, on uh, 25th of, 5th of this month. Now, this is very, very simple, right? Uh, what happens is that uh, we will get you access, and this is something which we will organize specifically for, 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 for our accelerator as well. We'll like, get you one-on-one -on -one meetings, one shot in one day. So that's that's the beauty, right? You will get uh, a sort of, uh, uh, from a customer segment, you will get the best of the customers who are willing to, to, to buy your product and this is all at the CXO level. We don't really look at uh, uh, if, if buyers come at a junior level because that is a waste of time for you and them. Uh, we want to ensure this platform is used largely for it. So we've run almost 12, uh, not almost 12, we have run till now. And uh, 1,000 plus meetings we have had, uh, almost uh, almost even number of 70, 80 uh, startups, uh, buyers have come, 70, 80, 90 sellers have come. And 100% potential deals have been done. How much of them were converted? I believe anywhere between 40 to 50, we know about it. There may be more, which a lot of happens. Implicitly, it happens. For example, uh, we have a startup which is uh, which has just got bought with one, one of our clients. And we came to know after maybe a few months because uh, buyers and sellers both mutually close the deal. And that's not an issue. We always are very happy with it. And of course, we go with segment-wise initiative. So we can do everything around that to get you access to it. And in which way, if some of you are interested, you can always talk to us and we'll figure out what we can do uh, on... on uh, on 25th as well, which we are, we are, we are doing our own first FinTech Bazaar. Uh, just to be honest about it, if you, are, you guys are serious and you want to see what bring, value bring, you bring, if you're an entrepreneur, uh, one, meet us one-on-one, -on so we can plan one-on-one -on -one meeting. If you apply for our Bazaar, uh, of, apply for our uh, accelerator, uh, definitely the first meeting I'll do with you one-on-one, -on -one, which is you can take it as a discussion, mentorship, whatever way, but we will spend time with you and give a feedback with, irrespective of we are going to work with you on Next. So this is the kind of stuff we have done. Uh, we ran India's largest fintech event uh, called IFTA last year, 2019. Uh, we were knowledge partner to IFTA and I was the convener there. And uh, by far it is supposed to be, or whatever feedback we got was the biggest and the best in terms of content, right? The point is it's content and meetings, the right kind of people which you want to meet. And that's what we focus on. Uh, just by saying that size, maybe we are not the largest, but maybe the best is what we would always look at. And we're still proud of it, saying that we pulled off something which was uh, X and we took it to say three to four times the size. So that's what we can bring on the table. Anything which we touched, we would do believe that we can bring value to it. If we can't bring value, we'll say no. If we believe that we can't add value to your segment, we will say no. As of now, for example, we are saying we, if you are in B2B business, uh, uh, we will be very happy to work with you. In B2C side, our value comes down because we don't bring the customer segment on board. And there, in that case, we can only help you in consulting on the strategy process and plan, but we can't solve your customer access problem. So that's what we did last year. Um, let's move on, Shashank. Uh, this is the set of reports we've done. Uh, more, in, more reports are right now in progress. So we did something on uh, FinTech last year. We did on Middle East and India. Uh, we have some presence in Middle East as well, and we have some presence in 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 uh, in in in, uh, in terms of Southeast Asia as well. But beyond that, to be honest, we are known to have access. Southeast Asia and Middle East. If you need some customers and some base, we surely should be able to help you out there. Uh, we did some more reports. I think our if you look at if you search for any kind of influencer list in the country, uh, we have done the most of them, uh, including the top. 
open banking influencer list, top fintech influencer list, uh, and 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 the, there are more which are in progress. Right? So maybe we lost, or is it problem at my end? Uh, I think only third, uh, only uh, uh, should we can tell. I could hear you, Samir. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. So uh, we we we've done a lot of influencer list as well, uh, and uh, more are in progress as well. So let's move on. Uh, in terms of ecosystem, uh, we build a lot of new ecosystem as well, uh, and that's something which we have we keep doing it. Uh, Shashank, I'm losing you. I think we have a different problem. Both of, both of them are not able to access the system, I guess. Uh, so uh, I think that's that's where we are. Uh, maybe I need to change the structure because otherwise I will lose thread. Uh, Shubhi, can you check with the, uh, Shashank is there or not? Because I think we are losing him right now. Check. Yeah. So if if not, then I will I will I'll uh, control it. So just give me one sec. I think he we lost him. We lost him. So I I'm sharing the screen myself. Yeah, just one sec. Yeah. Uh, so we were talking about. Can you see? Can everybody see it? Shri, uh, Shrikant, Shashank? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Okay. So let's move on to some more list. And uh, this we also do a lot of ecosystem around open banking, digital banking, and fintech. That's something which you can see all the time from our side. And therefore, it's all about us knowing the ecosystem rather than showcasing how much we know. But we know the ecosystem, we know how it is placed. And this is again based on customer needs, saying that we don't have access to these. Can you help us with understanding the ecosystem? With this, I hand it over to uh, Shashank, and I'm going to run the slide, uh, Shashank, for you. Can you see that? Yeah, I think everybody can see it. Am I, uh, Shashank, I'm running the slides. Okay, fine. And in case if you find challenge, let me know. Is yeah. uh, Am I audible? You're audible and you're my consulting slide, right? Yes, I'm on a consulting slide. Okay, I think, uh, interestingly, none of us, uh, and this is how much focus we are. Uh, just a quick introduction to, uh, I'll give you myself and, and Shashank and Shrikan. So, just to, uh, background wise, uh, all two decades in, in the same business, I was running digital for uh, for Citibank. Uh, I had set up uh, Kotak as well from a digital and many, many other perspective, I was leading, leading digital for in, U, in US and Europe for two banks uh, from Infosys side and sort of done a lot of core banking and digital platforms for uh, for Infosys as well. Set up Bharti Mahila Bank in India. And uh, three years with the uh, uh, three years is, is what we, I, I, me and Shashank worked together in, in DCB days. So we, it, the background has been largely, that's how we built this company because that's the only thing we know. And the idea uh, of building this company was to bring, create, create an alternative before. So what do you, Shashank, uh, I think we, I ran usually as usual without uh, start telling out who we are. No. Okay, so thanks, Amir. Uh, so I'm Shashank Shagar. Uh, so I had consulting at the digital fifth. So, so as Amir explained, so I was with DCB Bank almost for eight years. Where I set it up the open banking uh, for the DCB Bank and worked with uh, lots of fintech uh, to setting up lots of business uh, model. And prior to that, have been working with Bipro and LND Infotech. So without taking much time, so I'll just want to we just want to give you the some glimpse of the consulting work, and there you will realize that our approach has been primarily and accelerated to most of our consulting assignments. Uh, wherever that we have been engaged, uh, we work with the uh, with the founders or the uh, stakeholders, the key stakeholders into setting up the business strategy, working. <laughs> Uh, hand by hand and then uh, uh, driving that business forward. So look at the case like the, the happy loans where Samir was primarily associated with them as a co-founder uh, uh, and helping them into setting up the tech stack, including the product strategy, product roadmap and driving that working closely with all the stakeholders together. Yeah, so I was acting like a co-founder as a service, not a co-founder. So, I mean, that's what we do. We help in building it up, but we are not the, we are more on the commercial side now. Uh, similar assignment, if you look at it in the middle list, which we're talking about like one customer, which was there into particular one business and it just started like uh, three to four years old company. And they were into particular one segment in the payments and they wanted to work with us to help them to redefine their business strategy and also work with them continuously to drive the implementation of that strategy. So we completely redrawn their strategy, looked into the market together, what are the propositions are there and then also helping them to pick up the solutions from India uh, and as a part of the strategy, go along with them, roll out that 
and now they have expanded their product line into the market and we are still closely associated with them to work on the hands on hand and we continuously get uh, involved into debating the strategy the implementation plan the hiring also so we get involved in completely on a full kind of an accelerator uh, engine that we work with them well other side also uh, then one assignment also again we'll talk about the maha agri which is again myanmar it's again where the samir was been involved when working with the ceos together and trying to solve out the entire the digital lending uh, cycle where that it used to take almost like uh, like 15 days to do the disbursement and so we working very closely with the, the entire the acquisition team the credit underwriting team redefine that uh, entire process the lay down the technology stack and then see that ki how this stack can be reduced to uh, three days and that is the work uh and other assignments also we look at it again uh, from the work that we get involved we primarily act as an like accelerator to the entire engine and some of the places where we work as an like the knowledge partner uh, come on board helping them to do defining the strategy uh, like say for example mumbai fintech have on the npci also which is uh, the last assignment where we completely set it up the entire api accelerator strategy and then also helping them to do the implementation of api accelerator study where we are helping them to bring the api providers on the platform so like npci program name is infinite so you can you guys can go and check that so it's an api accelerator platform where their uh, npci is coming what in a api sandbox uh, and which will host the all kind of the apis from across the uh, api providers be it banks finance other financial institutions the fintechs the regtechs kind of thing so that any fintech uh, early stage of the fintech can reach out and ex uh, access all these apis so that has been our exposure into the consulting and that's experience we definitely would love to bring into the table of the accelerator when we are working with the shortlisted startups uh on the other side when uh, we are talking about the consulting and working very closely we also bring lots of expertise into having the market training market knowledge like we have been uh you can call it as like we are the first to launch a program on open banking in india i i think sabhi we can claim that right hey worldwide worldwide yeah so that's a class we let and other than also we do like classes on the fintech transform uh, fintech uh, the digital transform and digital banking full fledged the programs also on the digital lending the two days program on the digital lending so these are the open trainings uh, in fact next uh, this month and also we are coming with the full two days of the training you if you see our training programs also it designed into the such a way that is part the knowledge as well as kind of a plain accelerator the guys who are coming as a part of the training to gather the knowledge also want to use that knowledge into their set up the business be it in the bank or be it in the fintech so like the, the contain the mentors we bring on the table to share their experience uh, share their knowledge their their business model we they bring them and also the kind of the case studies we try to so it's like look in the problem solve the problem and go back and try to implement that kind of a study so that's on the training uh, this is just a snapshot on the previous trainings uh, that uh, people attend from across all the big banks the fintechs in the big tech and the consulting firm also people come and uh, join in and the various other enablers uh, kind of platform like ai and all so it was the board we have seen the people joining in and on the training so these are like open trainings also we do in a corporate trainings we have we work on a very individual curated programs for the corporates so that's the way we have done for cbl dbs and other companies uh this is just a very small snapshot so as samir was talking about that we have a huge set of the connect where that we bring the mentors on the table even that uh, our training programs are very much influenced with the mentors also so apart from me and samir we almost have like 8 to 10 mentors coming into our two days program and taking the sessions so like likes of ritesh pai anand bagat anish and all this uh, deepak sharma and many more so uh, be to the flip card and all these things people come and take that one hour sessions sharing the knowledge and that's why we want to continue that following in the uh, accelerator also that you get the right mentorship across all the product business model take a stack the legal regulatory investment across on the board and this is again uh, we have spoken to some of the customer but these are the large set of the customer base that we have been working together be it across the government entities like npc we talk about the tech firms like infosys we work very closely with infosys into their product innovation uh, approach like so there is a governing council which completely regularly assess that what kind of innovation that is taking place in the market and then take it back to their products into so we work very closely with them then lots of uh, partner that we work into take their product into the market so 
that's the as Sami was talking about in the partnership, the educational institute and the training programs that we have been working. So we take the fintech courses uh, at these colleges also, and the other some of the other fintech uh, many of the things we have been working like a more like an uh, as an a uh, study partner working hand in hand with the founders into setting up their studies, rolling out, helping them to connect with the market in terms of the partnership and all the other things. So this is a quick overview from our side on the consulting and the training overviews. Uh, so again, uh, going back to Samir. Uh, okay, so uh, the key point for you is that, okay, story is okay, what can we do for you? Okay. So in terms of uh, ecosystem, I think we have a fairly uh, strong access to the ecosystem and we understand how it works largely because of our background in this business. So from a structure perspective, what we bring our table, as we as I keep repeating, we'll get you a network with the right guys. The network is not the wrong sense. Okay, It's a point, point you can't open the door if you can't win any game, if you don't know who, the, you, who your partner should be, right? So we get you access to the partner, critical. Uh, actually more critical than even getting funding at times because if you have customer, if your scale is there, uh, a lot of people will anyway should come board on board. So that's the critical component. That's what we solve for. Secondly, we solve for uh, from a from a experience perspective. I think our own experience and our mentorship uh, mentors board. Right, we are right now building. I think potentially the best board uh, on 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 out here who can actually come on board and they're all willing to support with us because they have been with us for. Three to three and a half years, and they know what we bring what we bring to the table, and they also bring something on. So you will get a right set of mentors who will come and work with you. Uh, we'll also ensure that uh, from a from a from an understanding perspective, we know your model because we ourselves are startup, right? We are not a very large entity, and therefore we also understand what your needs would be, and we will ensure that that knowledge is brought on the table. Uh, while we are talking about it, all your questions, please keep posting on the on the chat, and we'll take those questions as we go forward. And, and of course, from a relationship place, we bring a lot of relationships as well um, uh, as of now. Yeah, so that's that's the whole uh, framework which we want to talk about. Uh, what kind of startups we are looking at? Uh, so, so I'll be very, very uh, open here. I think we are looking at startups which are um, which are talk, focused on B2B uh, fintechs. So anybody who's solving the B2B need, uh, a need of a bank, need of a fintech, need of somebody else, it can be a rec tech company, it can be AML company, it can be a, 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 a maybe a platform to solve reconciliation, anything around that. Uh, anybody who's building a, a open banking platform, anybody who's doing a blockchain on AML use case, which are deep in tech. I think these are the use cases we believe that uh, are not getting enough support from the market. Of course, for B2C, we have seen enough support, but not for B2B. And uh, most of the, the B2C have started looking almost resembling exactly the same. Uh, you will say that I have, I'll use proprietary technology for uh, solving the lending needs for SMEs or for uh, retail, but it's staying there. Uh, they're not enough who are solving this ground up. So we are looking at those who are falling in this area, uh, who are not getting enough support. And where we believe that with our access and our knowledge, we can add value. So this is a segment we are looking at. Anybody who's a rec tech, anybody on reconciliation, anybody is solving the client problem or a KYC problem, or maybe uh, KYC issues have been solved a lot. But what if somebody is solving beyond that, right? Uh, it's solving, for example, uh, there's a need now to do to video interviews, right? So can we can somebody is somebody building purely for video PD, purely for something which is now going digital, but there's no platform or, or for that. So that's the segment which we are really really targeting right now. Uh, if you are falling in this place, great. If you're not falling in this place, we are not saying no. I think uh, if there are obviously we are not uh, we don't know the future, right? Uh, out of five of these startups, maybe the one or two will be outside this segment. And we are fine with it. Uh, we are not against any other segment, but I thought that these segments is where we may be able to help much more than anybody, any any other place. Uh, just from a timelines perspective, I think where we are, uh, we are right now in a in a in a process of uh, getting more and more startups. Uh, there's still five days, four days to go for application. So if you guys have not done the application, please go ahead and do it. Uh, right now we have around 25, 30 people in the queue. Um, who have, who, with whom we are working and assessing the platforms. Uh, of course, if you do it right away, uh, it will be good for us so that we can meet you. We have want to ensure that we, each of these startups get at least anywhere between half an hour to one hour from us. So the way we are doing it is right now. Let's say if you apply uh, within maybe next seven to 10 days, you will get a, uh, get a one on one meeting with me for, for the first round. Uh, and after that, there'll be second round with the, uh, and it's not a round, it's, it's an assessment of your quality, not at all. It's an interaction where you will know us, we will know you one-on-one. -on -one. 
so that's the first round of activity. Second round is me, Shashank, and Shrikant together will meet you. Again, not to waste your time, but to ensure that we together can add value to this. In the third round is when we will get the advisory council on board. We won't, don't want to have the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the focus on saying that my uh, my judgment is right or co-founder judgment is right. We are having going to have an advisory board with leading investors uh, coming on board. And therefore, with this leading guys coming on board, with eight or 10 of us, we'll decide together who is going to sort of uh, work with us. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any feedback on the on the session today, please go ahead and respond back. Uh, Shubhi, Shubhi will, 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 uh, Shubhi has already sent you the, on the chat, he has given you the link for registration. You go ahead and register. If you need, uh, also from a feedback perspective, any feedback will be good for us. So right now we are in a stage where in four days we'll close the deadline. Uh, then beyond that, we will go for a one-on-one -on -one interaction till, uh, till 25th. And then around September timeframe, when we have our longer meetings with our investors, our potential customers, and then that's when we will assess uh, and, and decide. And then from 1st October to 31st of uh, January is when we will going to work with it. A uh, few pointers, which I think I said earlier as well, I will want to call out. Uh, one, will you get a one-on-one -on -one attention? Yes, we will have one-on-one -on -one attention because we are going to have a very small cohort, not like 10, 12, 15. It's a very small cohort uh, which will work with us uh, for at least for next six to nine months minimum. Uh, we are also going to take equity. So the logic which we have is we are going to put a lot of effort in you. Uh, there's no costing from your side. So we are not expecting any of the uh, startups to actually give us money, not at all. We expect zero money. In fact, we are going to invest some money in the companies anywhere between five to eight lakhs is what I said. Uh, we will put into, into the company in the initial stages as well. Uh, but beyond that, uh, our partners have to come on board. The larger players will come on board and invest in those companies. Uh, we will obviously support since we will take a small equity bet on you. Uh, we will actually work with you for a longer period because there's definitely some amount of equity involved. And we also want to ensure that that value gets created. Uh, so this is what, where, what I wanted to speak about. Uh, let's come back and uh, I think there are uh, some queries which are there. Uh, let me try to take those queries. And uh, since the, the group is not very large, uh, what I suggest is uh, some of these questions you can ask right away in, on, on my face right here. Uh, we need not uh, sort of get worried about it. So Shashank, you can remove this. We can actually take it one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, that will also help you help everybody in understanding uh, what we are talking about. So with this, uh, my request is go ahead and ask your question as you want. Uh, and uh, we'll respond back. So let we, before that, we will start with the, uh, I think one of the questions which we've got, I think respond is how do you participate in the in the FinTech Bazaar? Uh, FinTech Bazaar, I think you can connect with us on, 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 on uh, so I, we will, we will draw, I mean, okay, let me put it like this. You have my email ID, Samir at the rate, the digital .com, you can send there or accelerator at the rate, the digital .com, whichever email ID you have. Many of you would have already have access to my name, or my, my, my mobile number or my partner's phone, any number you want to give, or you want to chat here, or you want to give it as a response to our, our uh, feedback, we will come back to you. Uh, and ensure that, uh, we give you an update on that, how you can participate on the, on the bazaar itself. Uh, Shishan, Shishan, you want to give a quick shot on that? Yeah. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll drop in the mail IDs and the number also they can reach out to me. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, what I can also do is maybe quickly take them through the slides, one or two slides. No, I think we can do it in the end, but because, uh, I don't want these guys to yeah. look on the, on the thread of accelerator itself. Right. Sure. So I'll drop in the mail IDs, uh, for all the participants who are interested, they can definitely reach out to us. Yeah, so maybe you can drop in the what in in the in the chat box itself. I'm doing it. Yeah. Uh, so next question is, uh, do you work with UK companies working in India? Uh, yes and no. I think we have to uh, we have to figure out what you guys do uh, and how do we structure it because one of the challenge I see is that we we are not really really sure how do you put an equity structure in that sense, uh, and that's a discussion point. We we would like, love to have a discussion with you on what you are looking at uh, and maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, right now I'm not closing the doors. Uh, if there's a framework by which we can work with your embassy because uh, UK embassy, at least we know them. We can figure out a way to work by them. That is also okay. Uh, I think that's a point of discussion. Uh, Tom, we will be very happy to have this chat uh, and, and, and and reach out to you. So uh, I think uh, my request is to, uh, to Shubhi, please take the, the email ID from uh, in, in the chat box and we will reach out to you, Tom. Uh, yeah. I think that's what we will do. 
uh, another person is saying is that uh, uh, is that right now they are in ideation stage uh, and uh, are we eligible uh, i think we are we are right now running an accelerator where uh, we will take the company which is already mvp ready and then we will start they will have at least some base to start with at least one customer in mvp is what we are looking at uh, and therefore uh, we may not be able to start, help you in the accelerator side but of course if you need our services and all we can always provide but accelerator is something which we are looking at uh, where the companies are also already ready and we can work with them ideation stage is a bit too early for us to get into accelerator it's more of a incubation site uh, you may look at incubators more than us uh, and uh, i think if you look at on the incubation side uh, uh, our uh, i am andavad runs a very decent framework on incubation side you can join them uh, on a commercial side we can do but not in accelerator side sorry for that sorry for that bipal uh then the question has come from um, ashwini um uh again the, uh, ashwini also has a idea which is at the ideation stage uh, for corporate setter i think i as i said uh, uh, the same thing we would love to work with you but we can't solve the we are right now accelerator stage we are not looking at ideation stage companies we are looking at companies which are already having some some technology built up the, the model is there and we can help them in the growth side we are right now not running in uh, 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 as i said the early stage company very very early stage companies support structure uh, the next question is coming from bhagat uh, which saying that what about the sme lending space uh, i think as i said uh, let's pick and choose we can have a chat with you uh, we maybe we can do something if it is very unique Uh, if it is run of the mill, we may not be able to help because this run of the mill is very copy copy paste, and this is great model. I'm not against it. I'm not against your model, uh, but uh, we may not be the the. I mean, right now, even now, we have done. I mean, Happy was a SME lending company, and we have worked with multiple SME lending companies as well. But I do believe that in the accelerator side, uh, maybe we can give a bigger push to B two B. As I said, out of five companies, maybe one or two, maybe. a non uh, b2b and we are okay to take that so by if you you why don't you apply for it uh, in 100% of cases i can tell you 100% of case you will get a call from us in 100% of case if you have a company and you just want to start i will personally have a call with you um, so that's that's given we will have a zoom call with you and we will assess as we go forward uh, next question again uh, should we have shared you with the form please uh, please apply for uh, for registration here uh, and also give the feedback uh, shrikant has also given you the email id where to connect for the bazaar samir i think we'll have to repost it because for me it's showing it is shared privately to the host okay. so it would have been visible to you and should be only yeah i'll do it right away yeah i'll i'm just sharing to everyone yeah once yeah. so that's the email id for bazaar uh, you guys can join Uh, the next question is uh, i would like to know any incubator program that you have apart from ima i think you can check on that uh, it's it's as anybody's guess lot of companies run these these early stage companies and uh, i think there are a lot of entities there so i would really not go into and sell pitch maybe after 3 years we'll set up something abhi okat nahi hai it's too early for us to build that up but we would maybe at at least 3 years down the line uh, it took us 3 years to set up an accelerator because we wanted to ensure that we know every every part of it before we do it so we are very cautious with that at least 2 3 years down the line we may have it right now you can search for it cmi is the the most credible one i have seen because they are also linked to bharat innovation fund uh, which is also very very sort of positive kind of guys working out there and they are very helpful so i do believe that will be good for for you to work with then uh, we got a res uh, response from uh, from bhagat saying i am working on revenue based financing and merchant cash loan uh, financing models specific for digital msmes uh, i think uh, as i said this will be uh, more of a sme focused platform we will definitely work with you and talk to you uh, it is still not in our uh, core area which is b2b but we as i said out of 3 5 maybe one or two will be outside and we are happy to take it as such as as while the questions keep coming yeah one more has come uh, the question is uh, do we need to have a live product in the market to apply um, i would prefer that if the product is ready even if it is not live it should be ready or nearly ready because otherwise what will happen is that when i take you to the market and get you customer base uh, i always believe that customer first and the investor will come second if, if that is possible 
then customers will only get to see what is there with you, right? So if you, if you don't have it ready, uh, it is difficult for us to uh, qualify you there and take you there. So there in that stage, we can only help you in building it. In next six months, we'll be still building it. And we'll miss this whole cycle of, uh, of the accelerator. So you would not, but if you look at it, incubators run with a different strategy. They run for a year or two. And that's where it's different. Uh, Bhagat is asking if if you miss uh, this this cycle, when when can we join uh, the next 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 cycle? Uh, I I mean we are not very large, so and we are not uh, 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 saying that we will do it, uh, two cohorts in 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 year. I think I'll put it like this: if we can ensure that out of five these startups, at least three of them are next stage, which means that they get funding and they get scale. I think the story will be different. Otherwise, we have to tweak it. So let me put it very, I mean, I'm, I'm not a very, uh, in my business side, I'm not a very aggressive guy. I will believe that uh, uh, maybe uh, we will do at least one cohort every eight months. The timelines are not known, but uh, I would want to ensure that the, those who come in the first cohort uh, become a reference client worldwide. Uh, so that if people look at India and look at any accelerator, they look at us and they look at the output. And that will scale. So I, idea is again is we are not building it for revenues. We are building for for a long term impact. And uh, I'm not going to quantify will we start in which month. Maybe um, next time will happen at least not before March uh, of next year. Uh, that's what I can see. But uh, I will not comment on that right now. Let me run and my team run and everybody run this cohort first, and then we'll see. So with this, I think we uh, we sort of answered whatever questions I got on the platform. Uh, anybody else has any question? Uh, Shashank, have you got anything? And 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 uh, or Shubhi, have you got any question? No, Samira, I have not put anything on my side. Either Shubhi or you will have got it. No, okay. So with this, I open this platform for any question, anything. Anybody wants to ask anything about us? You go ahead and ask. Again, it's very very focused session. Uh, it's all one on one. Little you can assume. And uh, I would love to respond back. Uh, and if there is any question you want, you don't want to write here. You can ask offline uh, and uh, on the chat, and I'll try to respond. So uh, I have a question. Uh, this is Mittal. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, of course, I uh, got your point that in the ideation stage, uh, you're not uh, uh, that active right now. But just wanted to understand, like, if we have a uh, MVP in place, and then we kind of uh, apply for the next. Uh, accelerated program uh, in terms of the team development maybe uh, from the tech side or uh, the sales side or any other right do you uh, support uh, in the development or enhancement of the team as well apart from uh, uh, other uh, things that you have mentioned so uh, if you look at uh, if you're looking at hiring for specifically for you may not be the best guys we can get you cxos but beyond that, not really. Uh, we are not in team building as well. But because we have a network of uh, co-founders, network of senior guys, uh, you might get uh, somebody out there. Uh, we may help you specifically in hiring. But and for example, even today, uh, hmm. many of the companies, uh, the last stage interviews are taken by me uh, or Shrikant or Shishank. One of us takes the last round in many companies, early stage startups. But hmm. that's about it. So we can be of some help there. But if you look at uh, the product development journey and the scale up journey and the strategy journey that's any which be our bread and butter uh, it mm -hmm. depends on where you are in your journey uh, it can be so why we, why the differentiation is on one so uh, accelerator is not our uh, immediate commercial uh, initiative and i'm being very honest about it. i'm not trying to board around with something so we are we are willing to invest in this segment uh, on a long term basis whereas the other side is our commercial vehicle so this side if you come and we partner i think we this is a commercial side we'll charge you for that but accelerator is different for us because that's a bet we want to. So if you are very early stage, I don't know how to adjust with you because uh, if we charge you, it will be too early for you to pay. And uh, if, if I put you in accelerator, you'll be too early out there as well. So I think, um, Mitra, let me put it like this. Let's have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. We'll figure out if we can do something together, for sure. Sure, sure. So I'll drop you an email and uh, we can figure out uh, the next step. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Good evening, sir. This is Aman. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, firstly, telling about my product. So, basically, what we are doing is we are creating a credit line for college students, a POS based lending system for college students. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are almost product ready, like in a week, uh, like our mo most of our product will be ready. 
So I just want to ask you, what is the scope for us in the accelerator program as we are a sort of B2C kind of a startup and uh, so what we, uh, so let's let put it like this. Uh, uh, what you won't get is a B2B uh, relationship because in B2B you will be able to sell. What you can get is of course our funding, which is going to be on the table irrespective of which segment you are in. Uh, the second side is uh, from a from a from an idea stage to closure, whatever it takes from and working with you like a co-founder, we will ensure that we spend time with you. Our mentor boards will spend time, so you will get access to the knowledge, whatever we have built over a period of time. Between me, Shrikan, Shrikan, Jani, Shrikan, all of us bring uh, complementary skills. So we will we will spend uh, our time as well with you. And of course, uh, getting access to, uh, let's say for example, I'm sure you are building this straight line product, right? You need access to, to funding. Uh, from the from the lender side, so you need uh, access to lenders. You need access to maybe banks. So that is something which we bring to a table any which way. Even today, as of, as things stand today, we work with a lot of startups to get them access to banks and lenders, and 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 that's our quote as well. So we will bring that, of course, investors. So the only thing which we will not bring on table is that you will not be able to get a paying customer because paying customer is actually yours is a very different side, which is more P 2 C. And that's with the area where we will not be able to support. Rest all is common, right? We will ensure that everything else happens for you. Right. Okay. Thanks. So I have filled the form. So let's see. Sure. Yeah. Sure. In fact, one question which has come is that uh, from a from an equity perspective, if we take stakes in you, uh, for how will you decide the amount and the valuation? Of course, we'll get from a valuation perspective. Uh, of a third party which will value you as well. Of course, it's half the time it's on in thin air, but we will definitely get a professional on board for that. Uh, and also, uh, we are not looking at very high stake at all. Uh, whatever money we'll bring and uh, whatever effort we will we are looking at uh, uh, inputting, the range of equity we are going to take is definitely south of uh, 10. Uh, will it be 3% or 5%? That is something which we can decide as we think, think we will figure out. Uh, how much amount we'll invest, that depends on, again, uh, your company size uh, and, and structure and the need, right? Uh, our money obviously is not going to take you from a money perspective much, right? But you, that means the first valuation you will get, uh, whatever money we'll bring on the table. So if you, we bring 5%, you, uh, 5 lakhs, and you, we get 5%, then actually the, the companies that valued at least start point is, uh, say, around 100, whatever, uh, $75,000 or maybe a crore. It varies, right? So we'll figure out a way to ensure that the first valuation does happen with us. You can take us a small, very small seat, not even uh, beyond that, but we'll see. It can be three, five, whatever percentage we'll decide together. Uh, there is no force spread to anything. If you're doing well, obviously the valuation will be much higher and we'll take much smaller stake. Uh, uh, Shashank, Shrikan, you want to talk, you were talking through on the bazaar side participation, you want to talk it now? Because I don't have any other question right on my on my side. Yeah, I mean, if uh, there's no further questions, we can introduce Bazaar also, you know, uh, because Bazaar is definitely going to be a mainstay uh, thing, uh, even in our uh, accelerator program. Uh, so, so typically Bazaar, uh, the way we conduct it is, it's a, uh, it's a speed networking event uh, done throughout the day. Uh, we'll have uh, an X number of uh, solution providers and an X number of customers on the other side uh, who have come there with a clear intent to buy. Um, we we kind of give them the list of solution providers attending and then they come uh, with an intent to evaluate them and, and buy. Um, so that's how it happens. And uh, we, uh, you know, each uh, enabler gets uh, 15 to 20 minutes to uh, sit with the customer and then demonstrate their product. You could do a deck presentation, you could give a quick demo or you could do a video presentation, however it's suitable for you. Uh, so 20 minutes, what you kind of get is an yes, no or a maybe. Uh, that's a good starting point. So usually uh, we have we have always had upwards of 15 uh, customers. The largest that we went is 26 customers in, in one day event. Um, and we say around 70 odd percent of customers you'll get to meet. So so if there's a 15, uh, uh, any of the 15 customers who are participating, you'll definitely get anywhere between eight to 10 meetings in that. So that's a good pipeline to build given the current scenario where you can't travel uh, on anybody who's outside Mumbai. Uh, you start your, with that with as a pipeline and then you enlarge the discussions offline again. Uh, you could have a larger uh, team conversations, you know, with, with the customer having a larger team involving uh, and you demonstrate your product. 
the idea has always been that we we give access to this the uh, the early stage startups uh, who have an at least again there also there is an mvp ready and there and if there is an intent from the customer to buy these guys can go live as soon as possible uh, and so the idea is to give them an opportunity to present it to the customers and do real business uh, so so uh, we have done 11 bazaars so far this will be the 12th one uh, the second which we are doing online uh, overall we have seen uh, the highest we have done was 170 odd meetings in one day the lowest being 110 uh, and uh, broadly we have seen a 20 25% conversion rates you know with the, from those meetings uh, so that's the kind of success that the bazaar has seen yeah thanks sanjika i hope uh, the question would have got answered uh, which which i think uh, was asked by shiv yeah so uh, next we move to the another question which has come is that uh, we already have the concept ready uh, but do not have mvp ready are we still eligible if your mvp is going to come up in next one month or so uh, one month or two months i think we are still happy to have you on board because when we start uh, in october uh, we want to have something which is in hand Uh, to sort of close and complete and help you in sales, right? And help you in 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 demonstrating the customer. Uh, anything without a PP, so uh, uh, something to demonstrate is difficult to comprehend to to buyers as well. So that's something which I will say. Uh, so you are eligible if you can finish the activity in next one month or two. Uh, if it is going beyond and you are talking about it will come in November, December, I think we'll have to skip it this year. Uh, and uh, you can take the next round if when as and when we start, I think March or April period. So. I'll I'll give that view uh, uh, maybe slightly stark view, but I think if it is not ready, then let's not. Uh, uh, I will not want you to come on board and waste your time because you will basically work on more building it up than anything else, uh, and that will be early stage for you. Uh, I don't have any other question from from anyone right now, uh, and 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 as we enter the last maybe ten minutes, uh, I am again opening up uh, for anybody to ask any question. uh go ahead and ask any question it's, it's okay i think uh, it we'll also learn maybe sometimes because hamari kya hota hai you can also ask saying what can we do for you and i'm okay for any kind of question so uh, with this i think uh, uh, should be how many responses have we got any any anybody has uh, given the feed feedback my request to all of you is give your feedback Uh, so that the next session will be far, far more richer uh, we will obviously as we go forward so one of the question which is coming is what is the kind of profile of customers or profile of uh, the uh, who will be coming on on board of our our uh, advisory board and mentors i think uh, as i always believe that uh, the guys who are in who can really help you intent so there's a position and the intent i think we are looking at both uh, i mean right now uh, i would not publicly uh, sort of call it out but uh, very very senior guys from the investor community md level uh, guys are coming on board senior partners are coming on board on 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 the investor side on the on the customer side we are getting primarily cxos coming on uh, as as mentors and advisory board so we'll have two kind of bodies there advisory board will be smaller uh, something like other than three of us will be only six to eight guys depending on what the constitution is and this 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 pool is largely going to evaluate the initial stage and obviously will contribute to the whole journey so this is a slightly different group the second part is uh, the second group is basically mentor group which will obviously will not have that much of intense responsibility but they they should they will match if they match your profile and your, they match your requirement level they'll work with you so it's a two two structures is what we are doing they're all going to be very senior as such uh any other question before we close i, I think i have responded to the last one which i had anything from ashok ashwini um sirish tushar bhagat garav mittal anything else from your side if not then uh, uh, shikshan and shikar anything from your side before we close uh, yes yes no great shikshan i think we have pretty much covered everything uh, and now it's for them to decide and join uh, So apply it. Absolutely. Ah, yeah. We look forward to. Look yeah. Forward. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. With this week close, and uh, I'm sure we'll get a chance to talk and meet. 
Uh, what I assure you is that apply for it and whatever situation your product is, we'll definitely meet you one-on-one -on -one, uh, for first shot. And then we'll see what we can do uh, as a team. Thank you. Uh, I think I got more questions now, just one second. No, I think uh, what Tushar and others are saying that uh, the areas are all covered. No other question from your side. Uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, guys. See you. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.